Are you looking for somewhere to serve God? Come on into Small Memorials and join us in our service.
not tell them to wait until they are in the past and say, Daddy, when they are great grandfather, I love you. Amen. But you must tell them every day that the Lord allowed you to live. Amen. Even though you might not live close to them, but we have telephone, we have ways of communicating, calling them and telling them just how much you love them. Give them the power while they yet live. Make it possible for us to have and honor our Father. That is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Had it not been for the Lord, we would be able to come today and give some other thanks. Had it not been for the Lord, we would not have the opportunity to say, Lord, we thank you. Many blessings. We thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you for our health and our strength. We thank you for providing for us. We thank you for keeping us covered up with his blood. We thank you for blessing us as we travel, eat, and then to be honest with you, traveling now and just going to work and going about our daily chores, sometimes it can be stressful. We're wondering, are we being really safe? We're wondering who's what, who has what, and who we are around. But by God's grace and mercy, He's keeping us and He's providing for us each and every day. What is a father? Some may have different definitions as to whom or what a father is to him or her. One of the small boy's definitional father said, it's just like Mother's Day. We are living in a time of single parent homes that become a way of knowing. Single mothers are raising families by themselves with their actions. We are living in a time where common law marriage has become common practice. Therefore, if the relationship does not work, they can leave with no strings attached. This is not the way God ordained it to be. He ordained it to be a man and a wife together to raise that children. Yes. Even in this day and time, it's becoming a common practice where two women, two men call themselves raising a family. This is not God's way. God didn't make it that way. Amen. How can you raise children in a situation like that? Who they do they know to call mama? Who they know to call dad? You can't look up at a man and say, this is my mama, or look at the other and say, this is my dad. Oh, mate, you are how society may do things, but this is not God's way, and he's not pleased with it. Amen. God wants our children growing up in the home where the father loved their mother, and the mother loved their father, and both mother and father loving God and worshiping God giving him the break and in turn love their children the way God has ordained it to be. And fathers of the key, the word father in the word form means that founder of the foundation, the author. Father ought to be the author of the home. God wants you to offer God who wants our father to offer the home where Jesus is Lord. Where love and forgiveness prevail. Where the word of God is practice and godliness is mom. To have a good family, a mother to raise their children, godliness must be practiced in their home. Anything and everything can't go in on in a home and you expect God to bless it. It got to be done God's way. You got to raise your children up in the right way. So children, teaching your children the way and that the mission of the Lord. We find today that there's a lack of fathers in the home in America. We have so many children growing up, single parents, where many of our younger generation of our fathers being killed are protesting. I know that we're demanding justice. I know that black lives matter. But I want to say black lives matter with black killing black. And again, I say all lives matter. 
when they get older. The father's stamp of approval on his son and daughter becomes the foundation of their life, their identity, and their future. As fathers, we need to love and affirm our children, but we also need to teach our children what God says about them and who they are in Christ. Their esteem and work is primarily derived from the high price and great sacrifice Jesus paid to save us. Our children's work and esteem must have the root and know that God loved them, judging who, for who they are, and that His love is not based on their performance or behavior. We must tell our children we are all that God loves us all. In spite of who we are, in spite of how we look, in spite of where we live, we're all of God's soul just the same. And Father, our primary responsibility is to simplify this heart of our Heavenly Father toward our children. Verse say one of the effects of that mercy when Elijah preached it and cried out for people to get ready to meet on that great and terrible day of the Lord. What happened? He would turn the heart of the father to their children and the heart of children to their father, lest I come and smite the land with the curse. And I begin, I begin to think about the condition of the world today. And it seemed like a curse in the midst of the COVID-19. It is the aim to spare people from being cursed. That is the mercy. We saw in verse 5 when he said, But to spare people from must be changed. But simply say, The heart must be changed. And even more specifically, it say that the disposition of the heart toward fathers and their children must be changed. Another word, father needs to stand up and be father to their children, love their children.
fall apart and a lot of people have turned their back on God. They are satisfying flesh, rather than satisfying and serving God. We must realize we're living in a generation where drugs and all other kinds of sin and immorality is taking over. Men are not taking charge at the head of their family as God has ordained them to be. To have a good Christian home with God. It is time for men to stand up and be men. It is time for men to stand up and be men. Although many of them have a identity crisis after what they want to be. But God made you who he wanted you to be. He made male and female. He didn't make no mistake when he made you. He made you what he wanted you to be. It's time for men to take a right of place in the home. It's time for men to take a right of place in the community. We can't get out there in the community and live and do anything any kind of way. Because people are watching you as men. We need to teach our young men how to act and conduct themselves in a decent and respectful manner. How are young men going to know how to treat the young lady when we don't treat them right? How are they going to treat their wives when we don't treat our wives right? How are they going to raise and teach their children when we don't teach our children right? When we do it in it in every kind of thing, when you're yelling at your wife, cursing your wife, and abusing your children, this is not, what, this is not the way God ordained it to be. Where will we be? With our spiritual guidance of our Father. Some find Jesus without the Father's help. But most of them are the fathers who long ago set Christ down to our personal Savior. He set the example why he was young. Takes us to church. Introduce us to his friend Jesus. Tell us the stories of Christ's love and nurtures our faith until we come to know Jesus for our sake. This is a great father. I can remember there were times when we wanted to stay at home on Sunday, but that was not so. If we were sick, we were going to church. One thing about our parents, they made sure that we were in church on Sunday morning. And then some that saw, I think, the spirit of Jesus, some of the songs that they drove them to church. I'm glad that my mom and dad drove them to church. I'm glad that they brought me up in the church. Even though we strayed away from the okay, our foundation that we were built on, it was able to go back to. As fathers, we ought to always give good and sound advice. Even when we refuse to listen and obey. Sometimes, out of all that you try to do and to raise your children and teach them in the right way, they still will stray and do some things. And along with the consequence of punishment for doing wrong, they will not listen and fall victim to sin and evil. As fathers, we are to set good example for our children to follow. As a father and a mother, when God has blessed you, provided for you, your way to mean to raise your children. Because we not we didn't do it on our own, it was by God's grace and his mercy. When you look back and see how God has blessed you and see the goodness of the Lord, when your children grow up to do well, your children and your family and their family, you ought to say, Lord, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. Realize that it will not be myself, God, who blessed us. We cannot let our way then try to tell our children to live right. Because they're watching us. They hear us what we say, what we do. Therefore, we need to live God and I. Set good example for them to live by. Because sometimes you might be the only Bible that some people will ever read. Psalm 127 reminds us that our children are a gift from God. They are God to walk. If a father knows you like sharp arrows to defend him, fathers who are the seed of Christ. Plant themselves in fertile soil and grow. They spread your branches and nurture your tender shoot that are God's reward to you. Tell your children, follow me as I 
quiet. If you're not following quiet, then you cannot leave your children or your family or anyone else. You have to follow quiet work. It's time for the world to turn back to God. He will turn to us. We need healing in our land. We need healing in our school. We need healing in our college. We need healing on, our, on the name of Jesus. Because that time of Jesus, that power in the name of Jesus, the government might have earthly power, but Jesus got all body power. There's healing in his name. It's time for a change. We need to charge, please. When we do it, we will not have a word yeah. about the condition of the things in the world, yeah. about how we're going to make it. Yeah. Jesus, I'll supply all the need. He will make a way out of the way. Yeah. It is written, I have never seen a righteous forsaken, nor see bed and break. He's water in dry places. He's food in a starving land. He's a dog. He's everything that we need. It's time we turn back to God. Second Chronicles 7 14 said, If my people who call by my name will hold up, said, Pray and seek my way. Turn from that way. He said, then will I hear from heaven. We need to hear, he needs to hear from heaven on our behalf. He needs to hear from heaven on the world behalf. And we forgive that sin and heal that land. We need healing in our nation. But there's so much sin and evil in our world today. Time for sin. Fatherhood. Time for fathers to stand and be fathers. Time for men. Stand for the Apollo to our children. To God be the glory. For all that He's done. Again, we say, Happy Father's Day to all fathers. Remember, I do just talk to the earthly father, but there is a heavenly father which is high and looks low. For those of you who may not have a relationship with Him, now is the time to come while you still have a chance. Wherever you may be or wherever you are, you can accept Him now as your personal Savior because He's waiting with our strength on. Will you come? Will you give your life to Christ? Wherever church you may be, that you can give your life to Him. While you still, even though we're not in the worshiping in the physical building, but there are ways to be by social media people preaching up preaching on social media. You can call and give your life to Christ. Why still have a chance? You can't wait until it's too late. Now it's the time to come.
praise God. I hope you felt the move of the Holy Spirit in our service today. If you'd like to give to our church, the link is below. Thank you for your donations. Good.